Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for November. I hope everybody's doing well. I am gonna take just a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Virgo out there, so take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. Also, please keep in mind, Virgo, that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. So if it is resonating, get in where you fit in. And as always, please don't force yourself into a reading that is not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Virgo? Virgo. All right, Virgo, you are starting out with the Nine of Wands in the reverse. You have the Knight of Cups reversed. And coming out together is the King of Wands reversed along with the Six of Wands in the reverse. So there's a karmic lesson or a karmic cycle that is taking place in your life right now. I do feel like you are worn out from this. Um, it's like love is eluding you. Um, I do feel like there's been some something that was unsuccessful with somebody who may have just been bringing passion or they were, you know, basically not, um, they could have been a, a bit of a player, you know? There's, um, there's definitely a sense here of feeling kind of defeated, feeling worn out and, you know, not really having the love in your life that you want. It's almost like you feel like um, you're unlucky in love and that is just not the truth. So I do see you not really taking any action because of fear of failure right now. Let me see who's in your energy. Show me who is in Virgo's energy. Show me who is in Virgo's energy, please. All right, so we have the lovers, sign of Gemini. We have the king of pentacles reversed, which would be another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And we have the two of pentacles. So the person that's in your energy, um, this person either feels that you're a soulmate. It could also be, though, that this person may have had a choice between two people. With the king of pentacles in the reverse, they're, they're really not offering... Um, any kind of commitment here. And I do feel like this is somebody who is familiar with juggling. So they may have been juggling you and someone else um, and not really offering commitment to anybody. This is also somebody who could be very highly focused on money, um, but they may be experiencing poverty or, you know, difficulty at, at the least with regard to money. Two of Pentacles is typically somebody who's robbing Peter to pay Paul, especially when it's combined with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. I also feel like um, you may have pulled your emotions back from this person. So they're trying to kind of look at you in a negative light because of that. Let me see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between Virgo and this person. All right, so you're not looking at the relationship in the same way. We have the Page of Swords, and we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So you think this person's a player. Yeah, I feel like you're not really currently talking to this person. You don't trust them, um, and they're kind of snooping on you. They're looking to see what it is that you're up to. They're doing some low-key spying here because you're not talking to them, it looks like. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. All right, so so there's some sort of deceit going on. What's affecting the connection is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Neither of you are happy with the situation as it is. Let me see the outcome at the end of the week. The Page of Wands. So there could be some communication by the end of the week but it will be very small if so. Um, but we'll clarify that to see. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. This is underlying energy and it does, in, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but with the King of Swords, it does indicate that, you know, there's a, at least a desire for a very truthful conversation, for somebody to approach you in a truthful, upright manner, and not be playing games. So let's clarify.
Spirit wise, the Nine of Wands in the reverse. The Moon and the Page of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you really don't know what's going on with this person. There's a sense here of not really having a clue. Um, I do feel like you're coming across as being mysterious to them as well. And I feel like that's why they're kind of snooping up on you. You also feel like this person is a player and that they're not really offering you anything. Um, I don't feel like you have any intention right now of talking with them. Why is the Knight of Cups in the reverse? Ah, the Devil. And the Ten of Wands reversed. So you're holding back emotionally because you feel like there's something really toxic here. There's secrets. There's toxic energy. This person's not really communicating. They're not really offering you anything. Um, and I did feel like you're tired of carrying the burden. So I, I feel like you would work things out with this person just because you're emotionally, you're, you're discontent. You do have feelings, it looks like. And you're, so you're kind of holding back those feelings. But I feel like you would like to work things out with this person. Let me see the bottom energy. Show me the bottom energy for Virgo. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Two of Cups reversed. And the Three of Coins. So you were trying to build a something with a solid foundation with this person. I feel like you were being very cooperative. You were trying to build something successful. And it just wasn't moving in that direction because this person may have been playing the field. Um, and I think you're not wrong about that. So I do see that the connection ended due to something toxic here. Um, it was unsuccessful. And you you felt like nothing was going to move forward. It wasn't going to move into the the idea of building something together. Um, so I do feel like either you ended it or they did, but I do feel like you're a little bit stuck. You, like I said, it's almost this energy that you feel like you're unlucky in love. I don't think that's the case. I think you're dealing with somebody who's a rather toxic person. So let's look at their energy, Virgo. Spirit, why is the lovers here for the person in Virgo's energy? All right, Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Interesting. All right, so I do feel like there was a lot of passion here, but I, I also feel... So while there's a lot of passion here, this person has trust issues as well. They're wondering if you have someone else. There is definitely a gap in the communication. It's like this person's taking a break. They're trying to rest, um, but there's somebody else here in the energy. There's, a, there's a, another party here in the energy. They may be checking to see if you, if you know. They're checking to see if you have somebody else. It's almost like they're ascribing to you what it is that they're doing. So <clears throat> they have somebody else, it looks like. They had a choice between you and someone else. And, but they're kind of, kind of trying to say, oh no, it, it wasn't me. It, Virgo has someone else. I don't see that though. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? I feel like you're not really trying to work on this with this person because of the secrets, because they weren't offering you anything, but they, they're they they're hoping you will, that you'll work this out. All right, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Lovers in Reverse. So, I do feel like you may have ended this. This person feels like you're responsible for the ending. I do feel like you're going to hear from them. They're, they're going to make some sort of a decision here that is, is going to be like, I, I feel like it's going to be a game changer. Either that or you already did. It could have been you ended this. You may have ended this, and that's why they're angry. But honestly, I, I'm telling you that it, they had options. They had choices here. So I do feel like they're holding you responsible. They're angry with you. And they're, they're thinking that what they've been doing is what you're doing, basically. 
So let me see why the Two of Pentacles. I feel like um, this ending was sudden. Show me why the Two of Pentacles is here. Five of Swords reversed. King of Pentacles. Now this time in the upright. So they're weighing up the pros and cons of, of settling things out with you, of talking with you. I feel like they definitely do want to communicate. They want to open up the channels of communication. So they're weighing up the pros and cons. Are you going to be receptive? Are you going to listen? Are you going to talk to them? Huh. Let me look at the energy between the two of you. All right, we have the Eight of Cups reversed. Page of Swords reversed. And we have the Four of Coins. So while you, the two of you haven't been talking, um, I do feel that you are still emotionally attached to this person. You, It looks like you walked away from them, but you're still somewhat emotionally attached, but you, you view them as a player. And their energy, they're still holding on to you. They're, they're checking up on you. They're curious, do you have somebody else? They want to know, you know, what you're doing. They want to know if you're willing to work this out. Um, let me see why the... So they're definitely holding on to you. But they're also guarding their secrets here. And they're guarding um, their position and, and the things that they've done. Why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse? All right, we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Strength card in reverse. You'd like to work things out with them, but you're you're afraid that they're still in this devil energy. You fear that they're still toxic. So you're 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 not happy with the way things are right now. This person is going to likely approach you and tell you that you are their wish fulfillment. Be careful. This person may also have a drinking problem. I'm seeing that for somebody. Um, but they, they're in this energy of what is it that I want? What's, what's good for me? It's not like they're really considering what makes you happy. So, yeah, they... They moved in a direction that, that was all about them. This is somebody who is a bit selfish, if I'm being completely honest. But they are going to approach you. They are going to say, no, I choose you. Um, they're still angry, though. They're holding you accountable for the ending of this connection. And I just feel like you would like to work things out, but you're afraid that they're just there's been no change, that they're just going to be in the same energy. So let's look at your outcome. Show me the outcome for Virgo and this person at the end of the week. Knight of Cups. The Emperor. And Temperance in the reverse. So yeah, there's going to be some communication. Um, somebody is going to take charge of the situation. And honestly, it could be either of you. Um, it. I feel like it's going to be more your energy, though, because when this person reaches out, I feel like, you know, you're going to say, okay, well, they're taking charge of the situation, um, and I feel like you're going to be very cooperative with them because you really do have them on a pedestal. You, you're, you're seeing them as an emperor. Um, however, I have to tell you that for an emperor... They're kind of approaching you with page energy. So there's that. Um, there's also this energy. This person could be in another connection or could be married. But there's this energy of them being unbalanced. There's emotional imbalance here. This person needs healing. So I do think that they've been weighing up the pros and cons about how to balance this out with you. They want to end the conflict that is between the two of you. And I do feel like they're going to take some initiative to do that. But they are in a bit of selfish energy. But I see you kind of looking at this and saying, okay, well, they're trying. And, you know, you kind of open right up. And, you know, you're, you're back in the energy of the dream. 
So just be aware, um, you know what's right for you. Um, so just be aware of what it is that you want and ask yourself if this person is really, you know, legitimately giving you, giving you what it is that you want. And I'm not saying they're not, but there is still some toxic energy that is, is present. All right, so bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands, which does indicate to me that either this person is going to be coming forward and offering you some form of commitment, um, or they could already be in a connection. So just be aware. All right, so I'm going to pull, you know, and guys, really, I'm going to pull an Oracle card for you, but um, guys, honestly, like, you just listen to the message. You'll know if it resonates with you. Don't ever give away your power to a tarot reader, to a psychic, to family members, to friends. You know, only you can say what is best for you. All right. So, yeah, you have number 27. It's called Road Warriors. So, let me read that. Give me just a second, guys. This is a new deck that I got um, for the oracles, and I'm, I really like it. I love the artwork on it. So this is talking about bravery and change, um, having vision and achievement. So it says, taking a leap of faith involves stepping outside of your comfort zone with the belief that you can make big changes to improve your situation and life. These changes may involve new locations or a shift in your personal or professional life. A leap of faith requires a belief in yourself, a trust in the vision of what you're aiming to achieve, and a willingness to face the fear. So the message on the card is take a leap of faith. So there you go. All right. And only you know what that leap of faith is. Just be sure you're not putting yourself back into a toxic situation. Okay. All right, I hope that this has been helpful for you, Virgo. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.